Oh, the Council Bigwigs are going to be there. Mm. Well, me, having been with internal operations, I have been called in to protect them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, he's... I we don't talk a lot of shite internal operations. Who do you think you are, 007? <laughs> I, license to get pissed. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're back with another steel game, season two, episode eight. This is Bunton. Bunton? Bunton. I can't wait to come to Scotland. As you can see, we've got the tea cakes right here. I told you guys, every time I'm doing steel game reactions now, I'm going to be having some kind of Scottish snacks. You have to. You have to have it. It's part of the culture. But yeah, let's go. Bunton. What's Bunton anyway? Oh, Jesus. Look at the mess. Morning, have you? Beat! I'll give you morning, you asshole. Look at the mess you made of my bins. Why isn't it me? Shut up, you liar. If you were hungry, you could have come to me and said, Naveed, I'm a tramp and I'm hungry. And I've given you something I'm to eat. Trump, like, uh, I don't know, what would you eat, huh? Potato peelings. <laughs> Mere lies. Look, I like you, Pete, but why don't you, if you'll pardon the pun, come clean? You are a stinking beggar and you enjoy eating the bins. It was a fox. A fox? Describe this fox. Uh, mm, red, bushy tail, uh, wee mad snout. Ah, I see. So let me try and imagine the scene. You are lying here on your ass. This fox is beasting into my garbage. <laughs> then the fox finds two old bananas. He hungrily wolves one down. Spots you, Pete the Jakey. And he feels compassion, because he's a kind-hearted fox. He then gives you the other banana. <laughs> da, leave it, Pete. The banana's humchy. <laughs> Oh, I love a Sunday morning. Gives you a chance to power down and look back at the week's toil, you know. Right. What yeah. toil? <laughs> well, I'm not collecting your pension and that and all that entails, you know, etc., etc. Oh, aye, Jack, you must be knackered, eh? <laughs> we ain't never sit down and I'll bring all this through for you. <laughs> oh, give yourself peace. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, even for us, Sunday's like a day off, isn't it? You want a tomato in? Mm, what size is it? It's a Lanark! Oh. Mine! Mm. By the time the food is served, we're finished. That's what I do. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm cooking, I'm in the, some, some of the food. So by the time I finish cooking, there's almost nothing left. That's what Jack is doing, and Victor. Jack has almost finished his own food. <laughs> there's nothing left. Mm. Don't fuck a whole one. Half each? Aye, uh, half each. <laughs> yeah. You see this? No. Craig Lang Community Centre. They're having what they call a grand opening. What do you suppose a grand opening is? Grand opening? I don't know. Queen or not? No, that would be a royal opening. <laughs> That'll be somebody for the council. No. You see, that'd be an official opening. Hmm. Grand. <laughs> grand opening? There's some asshole over take the high road. Ah, it's some <laughs> bad, stupid weather lasses. Mm -hmm. You remember we went to that supermarket? And that what's its face guy, what was he called again? Oh, aye, aye. Him, aye. Big fat bastard. Aye, him after that cookery programme, stands next to the stupid cow. Aye, that's the fella. Honking a drink, nine o'clock in the morning, cutting the ribbons here. <laughs> That's right, big balloon. <laughs> snip, snip. Check, please. Thank you. Pub. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> what the <that's that. laughs> What? Mm -hmm. yep. Make it Make it 
Not too much, no. Yeah, that looks nice. Now, you see, I can't eat much in the morning. I'm the same. I've got the appetite of a sparrow. Little and often, that's the key. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, well, bon appetit. Enjoy. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> The quality about a bunt in there, Bobby. Nice enough. How much would you expect to pay for a roll of bunting like that? Nothing. Free bunting? I've never heard of such a thing. Where'd you get it? Brian Dexter's car showroom. Is he no in jail for the drugs? Well, I get ten years shoved up his arse. That's right. <laughs> so I necked up, took his bunt. <laughs> what? Mm, well, it wouldn't be me stealing a gangster's bunting. Case piece. Well, he might come back for it. Oh, do you think? OK, Tam. I'm Brian Dexter and I'm in my wee jail cell. What's happening in my showroom? Is my wife getting pumped? Ah, oh, never mind all that. Oh, who's got my bunting? Where's my bunting? Rapping his cup off his bars, screaming at the top of his voice for the whole jail to hear him. Where's my bunting? <laughs> Daft old prick. <laughs> There's the barman, Jack. I don't know. But I can see a big daft lassie up a ladder, but... <laughs> oh, aye. We can see right up your skirt, Bobby Head, see your frilly panties. So when you're done fannying about with that bunting, Roberta, my love, could you come down and get us a couple of pints? <laughs> What's that S and Eddie, Bobby? He's only Dick Brian Dexter's bunting. Oh, no, you as well. It's for the community centre opening. What's that today with you? There'll be dignitaries cutting about. Thirsty dignitaries. A lot of passing trade. Oh, well, if they've any bloody brains, that's exactly what they will do. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> passing trade. You'll be lucky. How does this sound? I'll worry about my business, and you still worry about if you're going to make it through another winter. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to realise, Bobby? That this place is a shithole. Accept it. Come to terms with it. And begin to try and deal with it. It's a cope. And no amount of shitty bunting's going to change that. <laughs> Oh, smashing, too flat lagger. <laughs> Fit for a dignitary. We wide off. Keep your eyes on the mean now, he's at the rock. Saturday will be no more again. What? Kalra, the Kazit and the Sanapul Gay. Oh, great Mina. There's me again at Laldi to peep wow. the trap this morning, and you're sitting there like a windelicker withholding key information. <laughs> Why? Two got two men, Taki Janas, I'm at the Akanals and they are Pete, wait, I want to apologize. Is that that's the same homeless geezer when a suit? How? I want to apologise. That was delicious, Bobby. Another two pints of your flat lager, please. Hello, <laughs> you two. Jesus. How's that? You want a drink? No, I'm not stopping. I just popped in to tell you about a scene. Aye, aye, a sweet sherry. But you see Pete. The Jakey? You'll not call him that when you see him. How's that? He's headed in here. You'll see for yourself. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> you all right, eyes ahead? Hey, hey. You say nothing. Let me take your pulse. Oh, here, here, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Charlie? Hey? Eyes up. Jimmy? Glass of Thunderbird, Bobby? Judge an Alkibis cover. Do you uh, want that in a martini glass? Get it up, you. <laughs> no, 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 that'll no do at all. Near you. 
Have you won the lotto? You're going to a funeral. Is it court you've gone to? You're getting married. You peaked the tramp such twin. Why are you wearing a suit, mate? Tell us why. Come on. You're getting married. Come on. Community centre. Opening tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Load of council. Big wigs are going to be there. Mm-hmm. Well, me, having been with internal operations, I have been called in to protect them. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you. This. I will really don't talk a lot of shite in terms of operations. Who do you think you are? 007. <laughs> License to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Bastard. I'll keep Shaking that stuff. Seven of them in a kebab. <laughs> So there's me shouting and bawling at Pete, huh? bloody bin raker. And then she tells me it was a fox. So if you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Will do, Navid, OK. A fox, eh? Tough one. See, if it was a rat, now you'd just set a trap for it or poison it, end a problem. But a fox? <laughs> How do you catch a fox? By becoming one. Eh? Hey? <laughs> Shug. Shug. Aye, the fox appears to be a filthy bastard with stinking fur, thriving on rubbish. Given little in return. But he's smart. Wily. He's no dirty, he's clean. Groomed. Aye, there's more to Mr. Fox than meets the eye. He wants what you've got, and when does he want it? Night time. So you have to outsmart him. Be trickier than him. See him in the very darkness he hides in. Get under his skin. Become him. Back of yo-yos, Navid. Did you make enough bugger, Pete? Mm. Better fun that suit in a bin. <laughs> Internal operations. Imagine Pete protecting anybody. <laughs> You're off a quiet, Bobby. What are you sent him? Mm. I don't know. Don't know what? Maybe he was telling the truth. What? Get a hold of yourself. No, no, listen. I've never spoken about this before, and it's going to sound stupid, but, well, there was one night in here that must have been 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, do we have to have this again? Turn that shite off. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a quiet one. Just a couple of punters in. A few boys at the pool table. Pete was in. Just sitting like he always does, reading his paper. Next thing I know, a Rami starts in. Fighting, shouting and bawling. No, here's the thing. By the time I get boom, two boys are lying decked out. And Pete's holding a third boy who's sleeping like a baby. I says, what's happened here? Nothing. He says. <laughs> so what are you saying? You're saying that he, he set about them all? But they smell half them and knocked them out. <laughs> <laughs> you buying us? It's an odd story right enough, Jack. Victor? Like it's a lot of shite. We'll get to the bottom of it. Come on. How's it doing? Well, I've got to find Pete, find out what the hell it is he's talking about, uh, but I suspect there'll be a lot of pish. Mean, you, that was a curious tale Bobby was telling. I mean, how could Pete lay out three men single-handedly? Ach, I don't know. Maybe they've tried to take his drink off him and he's turned into the Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk. <laughs> ah! Choosers are bust. Give me back my pain! What are you used to off to in a hurry? Is Navid selling incontinence pads at half price? <laughs> Where are you going? Oof. It's a big story. Navid's being plagued by a fox. It's in amongst all his garbage, tearing away at the bins and spreading its filth everywhere. It's going to have to be stopped. I'm heading up to Shug's just now. He's got some equipment. We're going to hunt it down. Exciting, eh? Aye, aye. That's quite exciting, eh? What are you doing? A certain somebody known to you and us a man 
may or may not be a covert agent for the government. Eh? We're going to follow this man and place him under our surveillance to ascertain whether or not he's telling the truth. That's really sad, that. <laughs> that you two won't admit that you've got nothing today. I mean, here am I, I'm doing something really interesting, but you two won't have it. You're trying to top it with spy pish. Right. Look, if you two have been up the road to pull on woolly slippers, slurp tea and eat blue ribbons whilst watching 15 to 1, then be man enough to admit it. Don't lie to people that know you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a fox to catch. Winston, Winston, we're telling you. Right, OK. I'll play along with your wee game. Who is your international man of mystery? Peter Jakey. <laughs> no. Victor, my bit of Hey, fully in a tramp about the tune. <sighs> Desperate, isn't it? <laughs> Is that all we've got to do with our time? Yeah, that we've got to fill it up with this. Dreaming up a lot of secret agent shite. We must be after nuts, eh? <sighs> Come on, jump back in the bus. I won't. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. Oh. Look! He's sitting in that big fancy hotel. So he is. Gentlemen, right on time. Are we equipped? I was on. Come on in. What do you got for me? Uh, right, uh, right. Uh, got scraps. To attract them. No, oh, chicken, pork, fat. Bait, nice. <laughs> and then we've got a stinger. 240 volts. That should render them immobile for about a minute. Giving us time to batter them over the melt with a brick or something. No, <laughs> well, giving us time to slip them into this bag. Ah, throw them in the canal. No, <laughs> release them in the countryside. Countryside? Yeah. Ah, good then, <laughs> humane. How are we going to see them? It's going to be pitch black. Oh, we'll see them all right. With these. Night goggles. Ah, yeah. oh, quality. <laughs> Vincent, put the lights out. There you go. Thanks, sir. Ho, 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 These are the bollocks. <laughs> Vincent! Vincent! Oh, you, you cheeky bastard! <laughs> Butter in these, no? No, I've not got any. Yeah, I'll plant some pickle in if you want me. Oh, that'll do. Here, what do you think we saw the day? Oh, I don't know, Jack. <laughs> we saw something, though. See, the thing is, he couldn't have always been an alky. I mean, he must have done something before he had the sauce. Aye, that's right, aye. I mean, what do we actually know about him? See, I can't remember him ever working. No, neither can I, no. Yeah, maybe he's not an alky at all. Maybe he's leading a double life. <laughs> well, there'll be some turn up for the books if he is involved with the government right enough. Aye, after ripping the piss at him. What was it you said? Licence to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that was he-haw. Was you'll be pissed halfway. Who? Oh, 
He did the bloody Bond theme, we called him an alky bastard. <laughs> what did pissed off? I don't know. We went in pretty heavy on him. I think he's going to rub his out. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> right, come after us, you know. Kill us, oh. government style, you know. There you are on your way to the post office, and you get there, and you're in the queue. Hello, Tam. Hello, Winston. Hello, Eric. Oh, then you see a face you don't recognise. Next thing you know, eh, stab with a poison end of a brawly. <laughs> Aye, and you're sitting in the park with hot fellow feeding the ducks. It's a nice day. An old dear sits down next to you. Hello, but you look down, she's got stubbly legs. <laughs> Next thing you know, she's got on, yeah! He <laughs> uh, wouldn't assassinate me, but. <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm too alert, I'd see him coming. Oh, huh? aye. Aye, I'd intercept him, right? I'd chop away the brawler, I'd grab him, I'd burl him round, and I'd do that thing the day in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Snap his neck, here you are, you bastard. <laughs> Can he get that open? <laughs> I'd pull his jacket over his head, incapacitate him, pin his arms to his body. <laughs> then I'd take the palm of my own, smash it off his nose, kill him dead. Do not go like a sack of spuds? <laughs> can't get that out of here. You might just eat these dry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another paint over here, Bobby, please. That you uh, putting the finishing touches on for the morrow, is it? Aye. Mm. Here, did you steal that out of Brian Dexter's showroom tea? Aye. I had to cut a bit off it, but... <laughs> Bobby, you might be right about Pete. We followed him into the tune and he was acting right suspicious. Yeah, we saw him hooking up with a couple of suits. There's definitely something going on, eh? Tell you. Yes. Mm, internal operations. Pete. Bobby. Glass of Thunderbird. Eh... Uh, no, water. What the mark? <laughs> Oh, that's right. Snigger, have a laugh. Too much to swallow that smelly old alky like me could have any responsibilities. Like Who'd me. want any day with me, eh? What good am I, Andy? That's all right. You wait tomorrow. We'll see who's Snigger then. Cheers. Oh, and, uh, by the way, your mission, should you choose to accept it, sniff my manky ring. <laughs> I'm not passing that mission if you don't mind. Bored of my tits here. I've only been here half an hour. Half an hour? So it's been 29 minutes since the novelty of these goggles wore off. What are you talking about? I thought I was going to see Craig Lang at night. Unknown Craig Lang. Break-ins and kids doing graffiti, neds, shagging in the park, knifings, murders, that kind of thing. Instead, what have we seen? A dog taking a dump. What a dog. Right, a bullet. Don't do it. Should go for a night tomorrow. Good. No hassle. I've got to take a pish. Right. You know, my back teeth are swimming. We just seen we're looking for a fox. We're wearing night vision goggles. We look like three assassins. I and I borrowed these goggles for the Terry's without telling I'll get left there. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> No, no, this is too much for any man to take. <laughs> you push all over my tank stuff. It's ringing there. Thank you. <laughs> what would you guys do? <laughs> I'm not doing it, no. No, I'm getting up. No way. You're not letting someone piss on me. No chance. I don't care. Arrest me. I don't care. Oh, I'm not in that kind of beach for some tobacco. Right, oh. Shut. That's odd. It's normally open by now. Probably still in his bed, the big balloon. Here, do you know they're throwing 30 grand at this community centre? Have they? Ah, that's like pissing in the wind around about here. Couldn't so build it up and the Ned's pan it in, eh? What's in it anyway? A bunk table, I think. Is that it? Right. Hey. Jesus, Disney World. Disney World, my lady. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to be here today. Oh, it does, Nate. <laughs> you know, with great admiration, I've watched the community of Craig Lang grow and flourish. Oh, you have, Nate. 
My father grew up here in Craig Lang, and he always had the greatest respect for his home. No, I didn't. And I only wish that he could be here today to see this. No, you don't. I'm sure that he would join me in congratulating Craig Lang today as we open this wonderful facility. For this building is a magnificent addition to a caring, thriving, forward-thinking community. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh. There's Pete. Where? There, up by the councillor. Jesus, he was right enough. Pete! Pete! You should punch your hole in, you bastard. All right, tell a lot of lies about working for the police. Was it? <laughs> Protecting the councillor. Look, I'm sorry. Why did you do it, Pete? <laughs> Shut up, you wee dick. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you getting into a lift with a couple of heavies. Ah, well, I clocked you two following me. So I stood beside them, so you'd think I was wearing them. You weren't wearing them? Uh, you haven't got 20p for a cup of tea, boys. <laughs> no. So that was all shite. Sorry. You're reeking a pish. No, that's me. Hey. I've got pissed on my tank top. <laughs> Never mind. Why'd you tell all the lies, Pete? I'll tell you why. You any idea what it's like to be me? Peter Jakey. Peter Tramp. Smelly Pete, eh? And another thing. Craig Lang. It's a shite hole. And I'm the shittiest thing in it. <laughs> that's the way people think about me. And I'm sick of it. So that's how I made up all them lies. That was important. That was somebody, eh? Big deal. So what? No, you just know. I'm a nobody. Bollocks! Aye, bollocks. I've been sitting in that cell for four hours. My bloody ass is numb. We've just done time for you, you arsehole. Easy, <laughs> easy. Aye, calm down. Get us all lifted again. Jack, Victor, you've been a bit harsh. We're all just at the jail, huh? Emotions running a wee bit high. We're all a bit raw. So we told a lie and it got a bit out of hand. We all tell lies. We shouldn't be singling him out because of what he is. Why don't we get a drink and have a laugh about this? We could all Davey one. Right, yeah. uh, I'll take a half of it. <clears throat> so how did a polis come to be pissing in your tank top? We were fox hunting. Oh, eh, that's another thing. There wasn't any fox. It was me that was raking through your bins. <laughs> You dirty, smelly, oh, 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 useless, stinking, bin raking bastard! <laughs> ah, it's good to have you out, Brian. It's good to be out. Is that the guy that I think he stole his bunting? That was in jail? <laughs> he smoked. Oh, God. So, what's been happening? I have business in the tubes. Bobby for the clansman's came up and nicked your bunting. David Taylor's shagging your missus. <laughs> Back up a bit. Who's got my bunting? <laughs> Yes, sir. 
Oh no, thank you, sir. Oh, they still think I'm a tramp. Oh, really? Uh, where would that be, sir? Eh? Thursday, midnight. Eh, uh, I'll near chopper. And, uh, six cans? <laughs> I need a chopper and six cans. <laughs> Do you know what he said the line earlier? He goes, uh, Craigland is a shithole and I'm the shittest in, in Craigland. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I really like this. I really love this episode, man. Again, it shows you, again, he's Peter Jakey, but he's still part of the community. People still love him. He's still the Jakey, but people still love him. Uh, that kid as well, when, that, when the counselor was uh, opening the community centre and that time I was chatting and that kid was like, no, you haven't. No, it is now. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah, uh, keep doing more steel game every Monday. I'll try my best. Uh, after I'm gonna go back to Father Ted very soon. Uh, cause I haven't reacted to Father Ted in a while, in a while. Yeah, and I have to go back. And I'm doing steel game. I'm doing gimme gimme as well. But I'm gonna try implement Father Ted in very very soon. Very very soon. We've done about ten episodes. More than probably more than ten episodes of Father Ted. Yeah, I think I'm in season two episode something. I've done a few for the test, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing for the test. Let me know down below if you guys are going to see that as well. Keep liking, commenting, subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.